Hey everybody, Dustin Dale's back here once again. I'm at the Funny Bone Comedy Club, 168th in Dodge, Village Point Mall. Definitely come out this weekend. We've got an NBC alum, the very first season of Last Comic Standing. You've seen this guy. He is the man, the myth, the legend. His name is Rich Voss. You can check out his album as well when you come out here. You can pick up a live copy here in person. He might even sign it for you. Or you can pick it up on iTunes as well if you like the digital version. Make sure you come out and check it out. His name is Rich Voss. Thank you for hanging out with me, bud. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can't believe you brought up, uh, brought up Last Comic Standing. I, I, I forgot I did that. <laughs> that was so many years ago. Thank God I've done a couple things since then. One or two. Uh, had a kid. Uh, let's see. Got a puppy. You know. And uh, I think married. What? I was say, you, you made a movie or something, too, right? We, my wife and I made a movie. Uh, it's a comedy documentary called Women Aren't Funny. It was on Netflix. It, it did its run on Netflix. It's on iTunes still. Everybody's in this movie. Chris Rock, Joan Rivers, Wanda Sykes, Sarah Silverman, Rosie O'Donnell, Rita Rudner, Patrice O'Neill, Colin Quinn, Maria Banford, Andy Kindler. I can go on and on. Mm. It's so funny. It's a comedy doc, but it's got a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's not, listen to me, folks, get this movie. <laughs> Women Aren't Funny on, I, on iTunes. Also, the CD, 141 IQ on iTunes, all right? You think I, I'm doing this for my health? I got kids. I got three kids. Three kids and a puppy now to support. What kind of puppy? Uh, well, uh, it's going to be a rescue. Now, we got a, a Yorkie for my daughter, for my nine-year-old, and it's basically now my puppy and my wife's puppy. Because uh, I still can't get her off the computer playing <laughs> playing Minecraft. Enough of that. And, uh, you know, she'll play with the dog, but it's basically our dog. So that's what I really needed in life at this point was another responsibility. Okay, this only takes away from my golf game. That's all it does. I'm here in life now at this point to do comedy, play golf every now and then, take my older daughters out to dinner. Mm buy my younger daughter, you know, a new game, and leave me alone. I like that. It's a good lifestyle. Yeah, it's a good lifestyle, but now there's a puppy involved. So, and you don't realize how little you love your kid until you get a puppy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I really missed a puppy. <laughs> I missed it. Whenever I leave, I missed a puppy. I come home, oh, there's the kid. Oh, come here, puppy. You, you realize, hey, it's a kid, but this is a puppy. Really, it's a cute dog. The dog never fails you like sometimes the kids do, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And <laughs> and if you, like, if you don't like your kid, you can't drive your kid up to the woods, open the door, throw a stick, and drive off. You can do that with a puppy any day, you know what I mean? With a kid, they don't chase a stick, and you're stuck with them. So, but I, it's a cute puppy. I have a great family, a great wife, the funny bone. This is my first time in Omaha. Uh, already it feels like home. I've been here one day. Everybody's so nice. I'm not just, I'm not pandering. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm having a, it, it, it's a nice place. We got that Nebraska nice going on. That's, that's, we got a Nebraska nice feel. People come here and we're nice. Well, so you say we. I didn't get that from you. I got that from, <laughs> I got that from most of the other people I've dealt with. Uh, yeah. And my only problem is be, when I flew in, I'm going Omaha, Omaha, Omaha steaks. I don't eat red meat. It's been 25 mm -hmm. years. And this is not the place to be if you don't eat red meat. You know, I, 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 you know, if I was in Maine, I'd be okay. I'd have lobster. If I was in Alaska, I'd have king crab legs. I'm in Omaha, and I don't eat meat. So that's the only strike against me. we got to get you a tofu burger or something. Are you a really? Hey, you don't eat red meat. I don't know. Maybe you eat tofu. I no, know. I don't eat tofu, okay? <laughs> I, I'm married. Uh, I don't eat. Uh, I'm not a vegan. Uh, I eat, I'll eat poultry. I'll eat fish. Just not red meat. It's just because it, it messes up my stomach. I miss, let me tell you, a nice prime rib. You know mm -hmm. how good prime rib is? Prime is very good. Uh, listen. Okay, folks, diet soda. 30, <laughs> 30 years sober, thank you. Well, Rich, you mentioned that movie. and It's not only just a documentary that you're a part of. You also, you were a big part of it. You were a producer on that. I produced it. My wife directed it. Uh, I financed it. And uh, it was a... It was a great project. It, it did real well for us. We're making another movie now. This one we're not financing because we can't afford I mean, this one's going to be big money. Actually, my wife's going to uh, Los Angeles this week to talk to investors. And uh, so the next movie, we just sold a TV uh, We sold a TV show to IFC. Well, a script deal to IFC. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting to see if they buy the script. And we'll make the movie. My CD's out. My, my neck, my... Fifth CD is ready, mm -hmm. but I don't. 
I don't want to release her because I just released this one. The reason I waited to release this one, this is like a year, a, a little over a year old. I sold it to Sirius Radio. So now my contract's up with Sirius. Mm -hmm. So I put it on iTunes. I'll, I'll put it on iTunes for a month or so, you know, for people that don't have Sirius. And uh, then I guess October I'll release the fifth CD and then I'll get my RV and quit and just go play golf. There you go. P golf with the dog, right? Uh, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not on that. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, maybe the dog. Maybe I'll take the dog. It's big enough to put in my pocket, so it's just big. It's like that big. Yeah, it's a little purse dog. Right? Little Yorkie. 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 It's not even three pounds yet. Was that your wife's choice? No. Uh, well, it's, I wanted a shepherd, mm -hmm. and you know it's too big. We have a townhouse. You can't have, and you know a little dog. It's cute. Hey, listen, I, it's a cute dog. I'm glad we got it. Mm. You know, someone dumped it off and we picked it up, you know. And, I mean, we'll dump it at some point, but, you know, we'll feed it at least for a while. I'll take, I, you know, take care of it. I miss it. I can't wait to get home and see my puppy. Well, not only have you done work on the movies, you got this out, but you've also done some work on some roasts before. And we got another roast coming up with Rob Lowe, but you worked on the last one with Kevin Hart. How, what was that like writing some jokes for that? I, I like writing jokes for roasts. I've been doing that for years. I've done a million roasts in New York. I did Friars Roast. Uh, I've written for Roast. I've written for uh, different people, Jeff Ross. I've written for Kevin. Uh, this one, I threw somebody one, mm -hmm. one or two, somebody on this roast. I just had a club. I said, if you want these two, you could use them. Uh, I like writing roast stuff because it's fun. It's mm -hmm. easy. It's you know, it's it's a lot easier when it's personal when it's a friend and you know, mm -hmm. like when we used to roast in New York, you know, we roast. All the guys that I hung out with, myself, Patrice, Norton, Bobby Kelly, you know, and we were all friends, and we'd have these big roasts in New York, Florentine. So it's easier when you're roasting somebody you know because it's coming out of love. And, you know, when you're roasting somebody you don't know, it's just basically, let me just write jokes about this person that I looked up on Wik Wikipedia, yeah. Wikipedia, whatever it's called, or IMDb. Uh, but I like, you know, I've written on two Oscars, which is great. A lot of fun. I get to go to, I've been to two Oscars backstage at the Oscars. So it was kind of cool. I mean, that's my, not my main goal as a writer. My wife is more of a writer. I'm a performer. I like, I love doing stand-up. Mm -hmm. But if a writing gig comes along, I take it if it's something I like to do. I'm never going to turn down the Oscars. Right. And the roast, I like writing for roasts. You know, I won't go in for a roast and sit, you know, the last roast uh, I wrote on, you know, I saw Kevin. I said, look, do you want me to write you some stuff? I'll give it to you, you know, just give it to you. I know Kevin for years. And then Comedy Central called me and said, look, we want you to write stuff. So they hired me. But I'm not a guy that's going to sit home. They're calling me go, what do you got today? I go, I don't have anything today. I'm playing golf. Tonight I might have something. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, these writers in L.A., that's what they do all day. They sit in a room. They write. Uh-uh. If it comes to me, I'll write it. Then I'll send it. That's how I work. You mm -hmm. know, golf comes first. Of course, golf always comes first. That, that's a known fact of life. <laughs> <You know. laughs> With your work on the Oscars and stuff like that, do you kind of keep an eye out uh, for certain types of movies? Do you have a favorite type of movie out there that you like to watch? I don't know. I, I like dramas. I'm not a real big. Some comedies. I love this movie I saw this year, Family Fang, with uh, Christopher Walken, Nicole Kidman, and Jason Bateman. It was great. I also liked... Uh, uh, they, so they call me Doris or Dolores. It was, it was Sally Field. It was great. Okay. Michael uh, Showalter directed it. I loved it. Tyne Daly was in it. And Ty, you haven't seen Tyne Daly, and she was great in it. But I also liked, you know, I saw Born last week. I liked it. I kind of liked the last one with uh, Jeremy Reimer. Mm -hmm. And all the, all the other Born movies were great. Like, I, movies like that are never up for Oscars, and they're so mm -hmm. good. Uh, so there's, I like... Some action. I love drama. I love courtroom movies. Oh, yeah. You know, I love court. Like we're watching this show right now on uh, HBO, uh, the night before the night of. The night of. Mm -hmm. it's, it's you can't stop watching this. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. You know. And uh, Totoro is that? Yeah, John Totoro. Mm -hmm. He's so good. Every the the. the it's TV is so great now, really you know. Is. Bloodline is oh. uh, Bloodline. You like you can't, you know, and can't and, look away. and that's what's great about Netflix. You could binge. You could watch five episodes if you want. You know, The Affair on Showtime was great. Uh, Homeland, Bloodline. Uh, what I mean, there's so many of them that 
I can't even remember. Mm -hmm. You can't, TV is great now, it's at its best. So, you know, if we see a movie, it's gotta be really good. We watch movies all the time. We just watched one the other night, and I'm going, how do we sit through two hours of this and a major star was in? I don't wanna say the movie, but I'm thinking, this, you know, two hours, mm -hmm. and this star is a big star. I'm going, why did he take this movie, you know? But then again, I just saw the one, uh, 13 Hours. I thought that was a good movie. Yeah. Uh, but com the com comedy, the one I like is Family Fang, which was my favorite this year. And, uh, you know, just TV, though. TV is so, so good. You're compete. Oh, Nef uh, what's his name with Kevin Spacey and Robin oh, Wright? Yeah, the you know, House uh, of Cards. House of Cards. I mean, these are all... I mean, House of Cards is a little over the top now. They went a little too far. But still, Kevin, you're watching Kevin Spacey on TV and Robin Wright. These are two top actors, mm -hmm. you know. They're doing TV. So, you know, uh, our, our plate, there's always something for us to watch. Well, his name is Rich Voss. Make sure you come check him out. He'll give, he can talk, you can chat about TV with him. He's got some great taste. I love Bloodline. That's one of my favorite shows. Yeah, no, when, when can they chat TV with him? No, you can't. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to come, come watch the show. You're going to laugh. You're going to walk out and buy a CD. We're not going to talk about TV. We're not going to chat. I promise. Unless you're a hot girl with low <laughs> self-esteem, then maybe we'll chat about TV. But besides that, buy the CD or scram. Thank you for coming. Rich Voss, it is called 141 IQ. Make sure you pick that up this weekend. And he's also got a podcast. Give him a quick little shout-out where you can oh, check the out the podcast. You'll love this podcast. It's called My Wife Hates Me. It's on iTunes. My Wife Hates Me. If you think you have uh, a bad marriage or problems, listen to My Wife Hates Me on iTunes. Not the last ep Our last episode stunk. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Our last episode stunk. Go to the one before it. Great. The three before it. The last one stunk. We just we, – we didn't – but it's called My Wife Hates Me on iTunes or Riotcast Network. My Wife Hates Me. These are the last of my plugs. 141 iTunes on uh, 141 IQ on iTunes. Women Aren't Funny on iTunes. My Wife Hates Me. Podcast on iTunes. Me at the Funny Bone, Omaha, Nebraska. I'm out. This is it. Goodbye.